understand Bungie for the first time, and we see that she has a little bit of a drinking issue. Uh, it's a great scene for character reasons, but in the end, it's just a timing thing, and we have to cut it out for length. You look wonderful, Anne-Bosch. It's so good to see you. Why, thank you, Matthias. Now I wish I your name in conversation. That real tea, not that. Fruity, herbal, short water. <laughs> Got some to drink it here in America. Dear Aunt Budge, let me help you with your coat. You must be so warm. And don't go hiding it now. That's a good coat. But last time I was here, there was quite a few items missing on you. Is she? Okay, she's fine. She's fine. She's drunk? I need my aspirin. It's on the table in the front hall in that little white bag. In this scene, Karen finds out. <coughs> Excuse me. Medicine. And this is a really funny scene. Um, but we found that it's so similar to the panty scene later on when she confronts him with uh, Becky's panties that it was too similar and that it was sort of uh, robbing that scene from the humor. So we decided to cut the first. Mom, there's no aspirin in here. There's a watch, and so oh, I ran into Paul at the drugstore. That must be his bag. Paul's bag? Paul? Do you pubic lights? Pubic lights? No. Friday night, just like that. We were eating Mexican food, and, 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 and I ordered it extra spicy, which was a huge mistake in retrospect, because 10 minutes later, boom. And so, Jim gave you his underwear. Well, you know, Jim, he's a good friend. You know, he figured I would be better with his underwear, and... He would be better without any underwear. Why do you need to go? What? You know me. I love underwear. I can't go without underwear. It would make me feel safe. Look, I, I'm really sorry I didn't say anything. It's just I, I, I felt incredibly ashamed about the whole situation. This scene uh, used to be twice as long as it is now. It used to be uh, Paul climbing down the tree, running over to find that his car was blocked in. And then he would run around behind the house and he would watch Becky making her toast and kind of see her for the first time. But not only did we feel that it slowed down the pace of the movie, but we felt that uh, it was a little bit too early for Paul to be seeing Becky in a romantic way. Crime scene. Be careful. 
Probably not. Yeah. Any night vision goggles, Kenny? Do a perimeter check. Let's go back inside. Let's be honest. Let's be All right. Nothing to see here, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me again. Exciting, huh? 